Hello and welcome to the Daily Comic and Collectible, episode 470. Now today, the collectible of the day is... The Hasbro Toys, Marvel Comics, Marvel Legends Series, X-Men Line, Tri-Sentinel Build-A-Figure Wave, Wolverine Action Figure. With Adamantium Claws unleashed, Wolverine is prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice in the fight for freedom for all mutants. This 112 scale Marvel Legends Wolverine figure is dressed in his popular brown X-Men costume and was inspired directly by the character from the X-Men comics. Logan features a premium design with intricate details and even hand-painted pieces of the costume and sculpt. This high-quality 6-inch scale Legends series X-Men Wolverine figure features multiple points of articulation for posing and play in your Marvel Legends collection. This brown suit Wolverine is part of the Tri-Sentinel Build-A-Figure wave, so collect the series to create your very own Tri-Sentinel action figure. Released in 2021 by Hasbro Toys. Now... The comic of the day is Wolverine, Volume 2, Issue Number 28, with the cover date of my 15th birthday, August 1990, with story by Joe Duffy, art by Barry Kitson, and cover by Mark Chirello and Mike Mignola. This is part of the Lazarus Project arc and is titled Part 2. The Stranger. We open with Wolverine struck with amnesia following his battle with Pinocchio and Dr. Page in Prince Baron's palace. Wolverine finds himself washed down upon the shore of the island village of Romika, not knowing who he is or why or where he is. He comes across some locals who are net fishing near the shore. They're trying to figure out how to deal with each other when the water is suddenly visited by a shark. The predator grabs onto the fishing nets, threatening to pull one of the young fishermen under the water and drown him. Troubled by the lack of memory, Logan rushes to his aid and saves him from being drowned. Rescuing the young fisherman wins their friendship and Logan is invited to stay in their village until he regains his memory. Wolverine wonders to himself what point his existence is if he can't remember his past. Taken into the village, Wolverine is introduced to the village elder, who believes that Logan is not one of the attackers that they were informed would come looking for the master form. He's welcomed with open arms and is provided with a cabin owned by the elder to stay in until his mind heals. Over many days, Logan finds comfort in staying in Romika and becomes well-liked among his people and youth. While his days are peaceful and full of joy, his nights are plagued with nightmares that reveal fragments of his life before his amnesia. In particular, his battle with the Pinocchio robot and danger to Romika. One evening, outside of the village, Captain Merrick and one of his mercenaries, Target, watch over the town. Target is worried about leaving the master form in the village below them. However, Captain Merrick explains that keeping the master form here in this small town is the best chance of keeping it away from those who would seek to obtain it. In Madripoor, the following day, Karma begins to snoop into her uncle General Coy's affairs and learns that he's intending to have mercenaries wipe out the town of Rumika in order to claim the master form. Horrified by this revelation, she decides to get involved and attempt to stop the slaughter. Back in Rumika, some hunters ask Logan to join them in their hunt, but he declines to teach one of the children how to make pinwheels. As the hunters forge into the wilderness, Wolverine senses picks up mercenaries. He tries to help them. He arrives too late and they are gunned down before his eyes. 
furious at watching the innocent people who brought him to get mowed down. Wolverine attacks and is gunned down himself. Arriving herself, Karma overhears the gunshots and witnesses the slaughter as it happens. The mercenaries are killing men, women, and children all over the village in order to get the master form. Watching two children flee the scene, Karma likens them to her lost twin siblings and uses her powers to make them play dead and watches helplessly as the rest of the village is slaughtered. When the children she willed to go to sleep begin stirring and making noise, they are also gunned down in cold blood. This is also witnessed by Wolverine, who has suddenly revived. In a berserker fury, he attacks the mercenaries, killing them all, knocking out one of the men who Karma had put under her control. To prevent him from shooting Logan, gives Karma's presence away. Karma explains to Wolverine that she had come to stop the mercenaries, and he vaguely remembers them. When Captain Merrick and Target arrive on the scene of the slaughter, Wolverine recognizes Merrick's scent on the mercenaries, and realizes that Merrick had sold out the people in the village and caused their slaughter. Realizing this, Target is furious and he shoots Merrick dead. With Karma seizing the master form, the trio agree to seek out answers to learn what the secret behind the master form is. Logan looks at the bodies of the two dead children, and as he sheds a tear for them, he remembers who he is. Wolverine. This story is continued in Wolverine, issue number 29. Geek Fact the Lazarus Project was an evil plot to destroy the small city of Rumika by Prince Baron and General Nguyen Khoi of Madripoor to obtain the Master Form, a relic of great power. Bonus Geek Fact Wolverine received amnesia after his battle with Pinocchio and Dr. Page in Prince Baron's palace. Pinocchio was a cyborg whose original name was Ricky. As a young boy, his family was killed, so he joined the military in hopes of one day avenging them. He volunteered for the Lazarus Project, believing it would give him enough power to gain revenge, which it did, but turned him into a killer machine, controlled by other people. Wolverine rescued Ricky and had him reunited with his cousin, Target whose real name is Ted. State-of-the-art gaming. Uncanny action. The uncanny X-Men. X-Men fans. Now the fantastic gang of heroes, Wolverine, Cyclops, Nightcrawler, Colossus, Storm, and Iceman are at your command to save the entire human race. As a Professor Xavier, you must choose the right X-Men to complete your colossal mission to stop the evil mutants. For uncanny and explosive Nintendo action and strategy, X marks the spot. <laughs> Coming soon for Game Boy, The Amazing Spider-Man. Available now on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Brought to you by... Arachnophobia. Eight legs, two fangs, and one hell of an attitude. Open July 20th at theaters everywhere. Advertising Ad Facts. Now it's time for... Bark's Adventure! A long time ago, later than you think, and sooner than you know, there was a strange and terrible kingdom. Help! Bark! Save me! I wouldn't want to be in King Jocko's shoes once Bonk's his way to him. 
Falk. Ha! That crude cave boy will never make his way here. I've seen to it. You're mine, princess. You must be joking. Nothing can stop Bonk. She not talking through her crown, either. Bricks and stones may break my bones, but not when I bonk them with my head. Wow, that's... Really using your head. Whoa, I wasn't counting on you showing up. I'm counting the pay King Drool gave me to stop you. I'm working for him now. I don't have enough power yet for a head-on collision with you, but I will when I pick this flower. And charge up with meat and other good things and, and, and... Go nuclear! Yikes! The terrible T Raptor head! It's one thing after another in this place! To bonk him, I'll need another flower for twice the power! <laughs> Unless you can save Bonk so he can rescue me in the all new TurboGrafx 16 Bonk's Adventure! No Venus Bonk Traps, Evil Duck Monsters, or Little Bonks were harmed in the making of this comic book. And final geek fact. Karma's name is Zwan, and she is a mutant with telepathic and psionic-based powers, dealing in possession, mind scanning, and limited telepathy. Her psionic ability allows her to project a mental surge that overwhelms her victim's consciousness, placing her mind in command. She even has the ability of mass possession and remote possession. She also has a natural psychic shield protecting her from psychic assaults. Despite being known as a lesbian, she wasn't shown with another woman until Uncanny X-Men, issue number 508, from June of 2009. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another Daily Comic and Collectible, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. This is Cat Fan Comics Man, and I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out. Yeah.